I'm Bobby Bow from Pamper Gold with Bobby Bow, and we're going to take a look at the 50 inch three piece folding sluice box along with this military grade backpack. The top of the backpack has two heavy buckles and then a drawstring for its main compartment. All right, that's big enough for the sluice box as well as some additional things that you add, like a rock hammer, trowel, whatever you need in there, maybe some lunch and water. All right, the front compartment is rather large as well. All right, folding shovel or anything else, snuffer bottles. And then you have two side compartments as well. All right, you're gonna be going in prepared. Let's take a look at the sluice box. All right, now this is a pretty magnificent sluice box, okay? All right, so it folds into three pieces and it comes, unfolds, and sets up rather quickly. All right, so you unfold it, tighten the wing nuts, And then you add on the feeder hoppers. It's best to store them with the bolts and wing nuts secured so you don't lose them. All right, let's talk about this sluice box. Okay, 50 inches, that's a whole lot of ramp. Okay, we start out with our rubber matting. All right, this is where your pickers and some of your bigger flakes are gonna to stick to. It's a miniaturized bee mat. All right, and then you have your green carpet, your gray miner's moss, expanded metal, and then Hungarian ripples. This is gonna capture everything from that super fine flower gold all the way up to your nuggets. All right, all in one piece. And we're set to go get it in the water. Now we're ready to tune it and get to sluicing. All right, so once you get the 50 inch folding sluice box put together, we're gonna go ahead and get it set up for action. All right, so what we want is the right amount of volume moving through the sluice box. If it's too high, the material will shoot out over the ripples and not have a lot of action, it will just float out. If the water's too low, then the material is not going to get an exchange or flow through the sluice box properly and your sluice box will pack with everything but gold and anything you load through gold afterwards is just gonna shoot out the end. So the right amount of volume, all right? And the way we do that is by watching these ripples, these rooster tails here, as they fly over the top. That's the action that we're looking for. Now to get the right amount of water pressure in GPH going through the sluice box, we've built little feeder dams here to get our water current level up on the sluice box, all right? Now the sluice box is set with the hopper, all right, its first stage here is the rubber mat. This is its first chance to catch the gold, all right? So your pickers should stick here. After that, we have the uh, carpet with miner's moss on top of it, then expanded metal, and then our Hungarian ripples here. So there's four layers right there for gold capture if it makes it past this first sticker mat, okay? And then at the end, you do want that gap there so that the tailings don't build up because if the tailings build up at the end of the sluice box, it's going to slow the water flow throughout the sluice and then the material will pack into the ripples, no gold. So let's see how this action works. This material is already classified down to 1.8 mesh. The reason we classify down before putting material in a sluice box is so that there's not a lot of rocks that move throughout this. That if you have rocks in there, you're gonna get your fingers in there and pick them out, which is gonna create different water pressures and start flushing out gold. 